Hi everyone, welcome back to Festive Fridays. So from what I've got in front of me, I think you've worked out that I'm going to be doing my Christmas vision board um, for this year. So what I use my vision board for is kind of to, not as a vision board, like not to show me what I kind of want everything to look like, but just to sort of inspire me with, with different Christmas things. The whole Christmas range this year is absolutely gorgeous, so this is not a particularly hard thing to do. Um, but I just like to have something that's just Christmassy hanging up in my house somewhere that I can look at it and go yep Christmas is just about here so this vision board is the small one from Kiki K um, the one you've seen me use before is the larger size I don't think they actually make the large one anymore I don't quite know why um, but they just make this size now so it's a slightly smaller one it looks to me like it's slightly different quality um, if you guys do want to see like a comparison video between the two um, I'm more than happy to do that. It probably will be early in the new year though if you want that. Um, but just, it's just a different kind of way they've made it I think. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab, most of this stuff's going to be from the red and silver part of the range. Most of what I'm going to do for Christmas this year is going to be silver and red. They're just the colours that I've chosen to sort of go with. Um, but I am going to do little pops of black. That's going to be sort of my my contrast color if I want of a better word um, all my Christmas decorations this year are either red or silver or black um, so what I'm gonna do with the vision board is do everything in the red and the silver but then just do little pops of the black um, the only reason I'm not gonna do too much black is because the black in the Kiki K collection has rose gold with it and I don't want to confuse the rose gold with the silver I just think they look really funny when you put them up next to each other um, so I'm going to avoid the rose gold as much as I possibly can so to start off with, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the bunting that's in here. So this is the gorgeous one with the, the very busy design of all the birds and the stars and it's just so pretty. As you can see, I've kind of torn this book to shreds already. I'm so glad I've got two of these. Um, when I was making my planner last week, um, I kind of tore this to shreds a little bit and used a lot of it. Um, but again that's why you get two. So I'm just going to go ahead and make this bunting as quickly as I can um, and I'm just going to use some red and white twisted paper string from Kiki K um, which I've got my drawer and I'll get out in just a second. Um, so that's all I'm going to use it for, just put it together really, really simply and then I'll show you where I'm going to put it in just a sec. going to use the other ones in a second but I'm going to start putting these where I want it on the vision board and then I'll thread the rest of them on. So I hadn't taken the plastic off this side because I didn't want to accidentally get it dirty because it is so pretty and white I did not want to ruin it. So I'm just taking that plastic off. It's definitely a different finish to the other board which I've never noticed before. I just banged the camera, I didn't mean to. I'm putting that all in the bin. So I'm just grabbing the push pins from Kiki K. These are just the clear ones. I just find these are much easier. Whoops, drop them on the ground and step on it later. Um, these ones are just much better quality, if you ask me, than ones you can get from Officeworks, but obviously Officeworks ones will do just fine. So what I'm gonna do is just sort of work out where I wanna put this. So I want to run it on the top and just sort of just on the bottom, like just on the, just below the top. This is a little bit complicated because I can't, I almost can't reach this. So all I'm going to do is just tie a little knot in the end and just tie that off. 
and that way I can spread the actual bunting out to where I want it to be. So I'm just going to spread that out nicely. Okay, and then I can thread the other ones on as well. This is obviously a little bit more complicated than just doing the bunting first, but that way I know how many I need because I don't think I'm going to need every bit of bunting, like all the cutouts here. Um, you might have noticed too when I was doing, when I was punching them out, I didn't do my normal tidy up. Um, I just didn't do that because number one, they came out reasonably clean, um, but number two, because they're white and going onto a white background, you're not going to see it anyway. So it's not such um, a massive contrast. So you're not going to actually notice the little knobs at the bottom, or well, at least I hope not. I like that this string's red and white, I think that's going to help tie this all together. So then just put another pin in the other side, just try and even, like make it as even as you can very hard from this angle to see but that's all right and then just tie that one off the same way you did the other one obviously if you want it to hang a little loose you can do that you can make it a little bit less tight um, but I really like that I think that looks okay I don't think that's not straight there we go let's try there and I'm just gonna cut off the edge of that one but I am gonna leave a little bit extra and have it hanging out the side I think that looks cool so there we go with the bunting and then when you hold it up obviously gravity will do its thing and it'll sit down a little bit lower the looser sorry just hit my computer and it's turned on the looser you leave that string the more the gravity will push it down so if you want it to hang low just do that just a little bit looser so the next thing I'm gonna do here and I'm gonna try and speed through these a little bit so you don't have to see me make every item um, but I'm not going to make the wreath today because I want to make that on its own. But I am going to make this little gift bag. So I'm just going to pop that out. You guys have seen me make the gift bags before. They are really, really, really cute. So I'm going to go ahead and make this as quickly as I possibly can. gift box is made just try and stick that down a little bit more so it's gonna sit in this corner and I'm just gonna pin it there you can obviously use the little handles to pin if you wanted to I just don't want to um, and it's just gonna be there to keep any sort of little bits and bobs if you walk into the room and you just want to kind of chuck something there I might stick that down at the end just so I can keep going because otherwise we're gonna seriously be here forever so I'm just then grabbing the note paper from this range which is really really pretty just grabbing this bit here that says happy holidays I'm just gonna put that in this corner and just pin it down just with one pin grab some of these bits of cardboard no I'm not I want this tag it's gonna sit Do a bow. Where'd it go? 
Losing all my little bits at the moment. I'm going to use this one instead because I can't find the bit that I want. I'm just going to grab this little one with the bird. And then again using that string, I'm just going to tie that over and have that hanging just like that. So I'm just going to do that really, really quickly and I'll be right back. just gonna hang just like that I did mean to have it a little bit lower but it hasn't quite actually better idea better idea it's gonna cut that one loose I'm just gonna tie that one around and have it hanging like that So that second one just hangs down a little bit lower. And I do think they look like candy canes. It's really, really cool. So the next thing I'm gonna do, that's gonna sit there. I just wanna have another bit of string here, which I'm gonna put some pegs on. So again, using that paper string. Even if that might sit up a bit higher. Yeah, I'm gonna do it up higher instead and have this a little bit lower. So you always allow a little bit more than you need. So you've got some room to tie. If you do do it too loose, you can always twist it just to tighten it up a little bit. And that usually, oh no, I'm not gonna work with this string. If you do that with normal string, it'll work because it's paper string, it doesn't work so well. Then I'm just gonna grab some of these pegs and I'm gonna grab some, washi tape so obviously I've got tons and tons and tons of um, Christmas washi tape so all red reds and greens and silvers and stuff like that I'm gonna grab these one this one here from last year's Christmas collection from Kiki K just grab I reckon three pegs and I'm just gonna cover the front of these pegs with the washi tape so I'll just sort of show you how I do one and then I'll do the others really quick so just grab your amount of washi tape that you need. Bugs everywhere. Oh <sighs> Not on my white vision board. So you just stick it down, give it a really, really, really good rub. And then just grab your cutting mat. I know this is all very not sticking very not like not on my desk very well and then just cut around the peg doesn't matter if you're not quite perfectly around the outside because it doesn't it'll fold over anyway then you should just be able to tear that off and it doesn't matter if it's not perfect at all because honestly it's so minute washy all over my fingers. There you go. But it just gives that peg a little bit more than just that plain wooden. So I'm just going to go ahead and do the other two really quickly and I'll be right back. pegs and then all I'm going to do is grab Paper Lover's book again and just grab some of these cardboard cutouts. So I'm going to grab the house. idea in a second I'll come back in a sec I'll change my mind in a second but I do need these two so I'll just punch them out 
while I'm here and everything. So those are all going to go there. I'm also going to grab a couple of these other tags. one's completely not relevant to Australia with the mittens and everything but it's just so cute and I'm also going to grab this card so I'm just folding it and then I'm just going to tear it out carefully What I'm going to do is I'm going to use this card to hang from one of here instead. So I'm going to put the house is going to go 3D up there. Same thing with some of these other bits. That's really all like using a vision board is a little bit hit and miss. Like you can put something down and think it looks awesome and then you sort of move everything around and it doesn't look so great anymore. So the idea is to never sort of get into a point where you can't move anything. You can always fiddle around with it, move it where you think you need to have it. It's just so much easier that way. So I'm just tidying this up around the edges as well because it looks a little bit icky. Ding. cutting down this side too because it doesn't quite look even because of the way I've cut the card. I think I'm going to have to bring this up a little higher. Yeah. I'm just going to grab these and pull them up a bit more so that that sits not quite over the bottom. And then I'm going to put the mittens And this present with the silver hanging from there and then for these other bits I'm just gonna grab just some blue tack and some more of those pins and just use these to sort of bring a little bit of height because you can't have everything well you can but everything laying flat kind of looks a bit funny so I'm just putting a little bit of blue tack on the back of some pins and just pinning them down. That's gonna go there. Just need to put that where I want it. So I'm trying to keep bringing in some more of the colours. So I'm gonna have the red there. I will pin this down now, I think. So I'm just pushing the pin through. really see where that's going with that angle. There we go. I'm going to put the Merry Christmas up here. I'll show you guys the whole vision board in just a second. It's just not quite in the right spot at the moment. I am also going to grab just out of the sticker book. I'm just going to grab some other tags out here. I'll grab this one with the little tree. I'm also going to grab this sticker and stick it on the back of that cardboard and then just cut it out because I really love that sticker but it doesn't come not doesn't come on a cardboard so I definitely want to use it though so I'm just cutting this out so then just pinning that one on the back of a pin as well sticking that one on the back of a pin as well and just trying to find where it sort of fits so I need to bring some black into this otherwise it's going to start looking really weird 
and because I need to do those sort of black pops but as you can see the problem we've got with all of that is that the black is kind of not kind of doesn't exist without this beautiful rose gold which is amazing do not get me wrong I love the rose gold it's just not gonna fit in with this so I'm gonna grab I'm gonna grab this one that has the black and the white there's not really another one there that doesn't have rose gold in it unfortunately I think I've used it already and I'm gonna grab this tree if I don't tear it and then using the same technique I just did before with the cardboard I'm just gonna stick that on there and cut it out I'm just gonna do that really quick so these ones are gonna be stuck one of them is gonna be kind of need another tree now just need to tidy these tags up because they do look a bit icky I'm just making sure that looks like I want it to look before I stick it down which it does so I'm just using the pins Just leaving these ones flat so not putting any of these um, 3D which I don't know if I like that with that one change my mind can't put a hole in it but it's okay it'll be fine so just because of the shape of that one I'm gonna have that up a bit higher but the other ones I'm gonna have flat Just looking at that saying okay do I need anything else I think I'm just about done the only last thing I'm gonna do and I'm gonna do it off camera completely because it's gonna take me about 30 seconds or so um, I just want to make one of the Christmas bows just looking at that guy I've got that left over should I put that somewhere might use that with the bow I'm just gonna make the bow really really quickly um, and then I'll show you where I'm gonna put it so just hold on one sec Okay, so I've just finished making the bow. All I'm going to do, I'm just going to move this down a bit so you guys can see it properly. Okay. So excuse all the mess on the table. Uh, but the last thing, I'm just going to put this at the top. So I'm just grabbing just some blue tack, which has got washi tape stuck to it, which is not right. And I'm just going to put this actually on top of the vision board and just stick it there with blue tack as close to the middle as I can possibly make it so that's basically all I'm gonna do I still have other bits obviously that I can add to this if I find something that particularly excites me in the next couple of weeks I can add this onto it the best thing about a vision board to me is that they're really fluid you can change them whenever you like if something's not working you pull it off you move it around you start again and I just I really love them for just giving you a little bit of inspiration a little bit of extra oomph with all your stuff and it just you can you don't have to have it flat you can have things hanging you can have things poking out and that's what I try and do I try and make sure nothing's flat because I think flat looks a bit boring sometimes so that is my Christmas vision board guys I hope you enjoyed it I know this was a longish kind of video because I did do all the little crafts I could have done them beforehand but it sort of it made more sense to me to show you what I was doing as I was doing it so I hope you guys are okay with that if you did like this video please give it a thumbs up if you do like this whole series that I'm doing I'd love you to tell me so I know that you like my festive Fridays um, you can find me on any of my social media links they're all down below or of course you can leave me a comment if you haven't already please subscribe so you don't miss next week's Friday's favorites other than that also so you don't miss any of my other videos because I do do them Wednesdays and Mondays as well plus the occasional bonus video that I chuck in on the weekends. Um, I hope you guys have a really, really good weekend. I'd love to see how you set your vision boards up. Please send me a Facebook message 
um, or post me a comment on Insta, tag me on any of your ones on Instagram. I'd love, love, love to see them. Thanks a lot for watching, guys, and I will see you for decoration on Monday. See you later. Bye.